just sneaking up behind somebody, yelling at them in person to turn around. Uh, and at first, you know, I'd be like, hey, Billy, turn around. And then he would physically turn around and look at me. And I'm like, no, in the game, turn around. <laughs> and then, boom. <laughs> it's like, damn it. And you're like, haha, I got you again. Sucker. Yeah, what was funny uh, about that, we, we used to play paintball. Uh, uh, that particular person. Uh, there was a place near his house that was wide open. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of woods and trees around, but then there was a wide open area and it had a lot of mountain dirt and stuff where, you know, obviously uh, bulldozers and stuff had been in there and, and leveled it out and piled up stuff. And he played the same way. He played paintball the same way he played Call of Duty. And I, <laughs> I remember I kept sneaking up behind him. He'd be down trying to snipe people uh, running across, hiding behind a little bunker kind of deal. A little ma a mound of dirt, you know, like five feet high. So only as uh, uh, only his uh, only his head and gun were stuck up, and I was sneaking around through the woods and then come out, and literally standing over top of him, a foot on each side of his body, aimed right at the back of his head. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, and he's like, oh shit, turns around, and looks up, and pop pop. Did you ever play paintball? Yeah, we did paintball in. I've only done it once. We did it for my, um, uh, well, my stack do. Obviously, we've had this conversation about what a stack do is. Um, but yeah, my, my bachelor party, we kind of went and did paintball in. Um, okay. Which was, an, which was an experience, I'll be honest. Kind of. So you, you, you you rented you rented your gear then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we I haven't I haven't got my own stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I still do. I got I, I bought upgraded barrels, and uh, yeah, I, I would I was into it for a while back back in the day, and we used to get back in the woods behind my parents' place and uh, play. Uh, yeah, I had all the gear. Had had my uh, custom barrel, and uh, uh, a belt that I had uh, full roof heels on. I could just swap out for ammo, and, and my paintballs were top notch they didn't between the barrel and rotating the boxes of my paintballs to keep them from settling to one side uh, otherwise they would curve off okay uh, I, I kept rotating my my supply uh, so that they would shoot straight because if you let your paintball sit, uh, the, the shit, the stuff inside will settle to one end. And if you shoot one of those, obviously that one side is going to cause the lighter side to spin funky and cause it to curve. So, yeah, I learned that very quickly when I bought some paintballs, uh, like a box of 500, and 
And apparently, it, it, we have uh, Dick Sporting Goods here, which had them, but they didn't rotate their stock. And I learned not to buy them there. Right. Because you shoot those, and they would like spin off almost like 80, 90 degrees up, down, left, right, whatever direction they came out. And like 15 feet in front of you it's like absolutely ridiculous but once i started uh buying from a different source we rotated those on a daily basis uh and then when i switched out my barrel to re release gas hmm. release the co2 as it came out kind of like a silencer almost it kept the pressure equal, and I could I could shoot somebody 50 yards away. Whereas before, it, when I first started, I pretty much had to be like 20 to 30 feet away if I was going to hit you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's it's easy to start spending a lot of money and uh, that stuff. Yeah. I mean, even just to rent your own stuff is not particularly cheap. But not rent your own stuff, but rent rent the stuff. Yeah. Oh no, they're gonna make their money. But yeah, we we all had our own equipment. Upgraded barrels, aluminum relief uh, relief holes for gas. To so it would push it out straighter you know there's i mean you could i, I remember spending a hundred and some bucks on a barrel a lot of fun though i still have it i still got my my whole setup my my belt which i can hold all hold all my stuff on mass pin park gun Multiple barrels up close to long range. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go paintballing again. Like I said, I've only done it the once. Um, but with it being kind of like um, my, my bachelor party, I always remember at the end, like we got to the end of all the games and um, they were kind of like, right, so who's got like, who's got any bullets left? And then they made me, uh, my best man, and um, uh, somebody else. There was like another party there as well. It was their birthday. We all had to stand on this tower with no defense while everybody basically got rid of their, uh, their leftover bullets and stuff. And, did, you, uh, did you have any uh, wilts? Any what? Well, not sure I know what you mean there, dude. Welts. Yeah. Like, you get hit by a paintball gun, uh, you get a welt, like a bruise, and it, and it. Uh, oh, yeah, I was, I was, I mean, I was covered in bruises. Like, yeah, well. To toe. I never heard him called that before, so. Well,. It's not just bruises, they're welts where they they swell up and they're bruised. And of course, the harder you get closer range, the harder you get shot, especially on non uh, unprotected areas. The welts are even worse. It's kind of like you can get a welt from uh, if you got hit with a belt or anything hits you hard enough it's gonna welt which is gonna inflame the area and swell up basically is what a weld is okay i mean you could uh duck duck go it if you want that'll make it more clear hey. than my dumb ass we found the lantern Look at that. 
Yeah, what about the West Bell? God damn it, I want to see a West Bell, but huh? I wonder where you could use that lantern. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's huh. interesting, let's, isn't it? I mean, we'll, we'll, should, should, we'll we, should we check out that one? Let's think about what, that lantern for a while. What did it say on page one? Hold on. Old house. Check. Blooded well. Check. Hmm. Maybe we should check out the dark tomb. What do you think? Well, that seems logical enough that if you have a lantern and a dark tomb, that they might go together. And you might be able to see better than without a lantern. I don't know. I'm stupid like that, but yeah, that tends to light it up quite well. Uh, this looks like uh... oh, I pressed the wrong button. I mean, press that. Oh well. Too much of a problem. Uh, yeah, Mika. Uh, uh, that's uh, soft. Airsoft. Yeah, airsoft. They're not soft there. Alright, we have another page in the manual. Yeah, they, they do. They're plastic. Solid little plastic BBs, basically, and uh, they call it airsoft, but you better have gear on. Yeah. Uh, especially eye, eye protection, mainly. And when you did, like my nephew, they played inside of, an, uh, of his apart <laughs> of his apartment when he was younger. He was in his early twenties. And they all have welts from those, so yeah, red marks. Yeah, go ahead and look up welt. Just so I don't feel like I'm... this is interesting. This is like yeah. looking at look at this. It's like very heavily annotated. Look, very interesting. Yeah, for, forest is one word in which you're talking about forest gump. Yeah, one R on the forest. I mean, one yeah, one R, not one word. <laughs> I'm retarded. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. It's like this is what we're going to go through. It looks like we're going to have to deal with some spiders. Yeah, that looks like a huge spider, kind of like that huge crab that killed yeah. you. Yeah, my uh, ex-wife's stepfather, his last name is Forrest. Nah. I remember being... Uh, that, that was his middle name, but yeah. Name being it, shot in the eye with a freaking BB gun. That was not fun. Uh, yeah, I was too, but my brother, he, was, he pointed it at my eye, and it was an actual BB. And like, no, oh. there's BB. Get that away. I can hear oh, it. He was, like, okay. he was like, no, it's just a, it's a thing I stuck in there, and it won't come out. There's no BBs in it, and pull the trigger. And luckily, it hit, like, underneath my brow. Missing my eye. Otherwise, that would have been one of many times I could have been blinded. Okay. So, I guess what this is dictating here, there are five enemies. I think that's what the crosses are, possibly. Possibly saying there are five enemies in this corridor. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, and then the arrows. Oh, there's two. 
Yeah, you got these. Oh, these no. Spikes. Oh, okay. Watch out for the spikes, Indiana Jones. Right down the middle. Like a doodle do. I have to say, this this place is a, a lot easier when there are. Uh, you've got a light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing the cross there means I can't get up them stairs. I guess them stairs are blocked, but there's two arrows that point to those yeah, two things. At like the you back. have to do something with both of those to be able to access the upper part. Ah, okay. Well, there's one. I gotta go beat those and do the other one. Uh, but they have harder enemies. Of course. Yeah, English is not an easy language. Mika. Nah. Uh, trust me. Uh, you do quite well, Mika. You, you don't need to apologize for your English. Or ever... Sometimes, sometimes what you say is, is, is said, like written, much better than I could ever do. Uh, yeah. Well, like, I, like I always say, though, to to most non-native speakers, your English is better than my Finnish, German, French. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, the little bit of Spanish I know. Yeah. But I mean, in, in general, I, I don't really speak a second language. I know, I know a tiny bit of German, a tiny bit of French, a tiny bit of Spanish, a tiny bit of Italian, a tiny bit of Japanese. But like when I say tiny bit, like very, very tiny bit. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not having a conversation in anywhere I go unless unless you're speaking English. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always I I know bits and I probably know enough to get by, and I always kind of feel like obliged that whenever I go to a foreign country, I should always try and learn some of the language. Yeah, at least like basic stuff. But I've never I've never the only place I've ever been is outside the country is Canada. And that was back before they required passports. <laughs> Showing before, your age now, dude. Before 9-11. Yeah, after 9-11. Yeah. So, yeah. Pointless TSA. They have done nothing. That's done nothing but employ people who do nothing but inconvenience everybody. It doesn't it's not stop one single uh, person? People who all the time are carrying guns through drugs, whatever, and accident whether it's accidental or not. Yeah. Yeah, CSA is absolute garbage. Pointless. Hey, we're here to make you feel better. Like, we're doing something. There's no terrorists getting on the plane. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't need to bring anything on a damn plane. I can guarantee you right now, I could go on a plane and take it ever. With anybody's luggage and, and whatever they're carrying. Oh, hold on. That's oh, right. Yeah, this is the best thing about this lamp. Uh, getting through this level without the lamp, getting about the enemies, about the spike Indiana Jones for. Yeah, it's about the traps. But again, it's something you could probably. 
do you can, without. You can figure out with trial and error. But that would not be fun. To be fair, the game was uh, was designed pretty well. Like the entrance to this place, um, from where you were before, you wouldn't necessarily know. You wouldn't know that like you could get into here until you get the lamp. So you just sort of like walk straight out the door, thinking that's the only way to go, which like literally takes you to the lamp. Then the only way to go is back, and then you discover this entrance. So from like a level design kind of thing, it's. Um, Designed pretty well, I think. Yeah, I mean, everything seems to be. Despite the lack of information they give you, seems to be done on purpose. And it, as you play, it becomes more apparent that. Uh, yeah, it's a well designed game. And there's. And they, and they have reasons what they didn't do. Yeah, I mean, this isn't like some indie made it game they made in three months. Okay, what's the... Is that holding something? I'll be right back. impression that was holding something. Okay, we'll keep that in mind for the time being. Internet went down for a moment. That's a disaster. Alright, so what we got in here? Oh, I think with those things might indicate spiders. Possibly. No. which you know what they do yeah I, I kind of wish I kind of like got back into Duskers a bit I never I, if I'm honest I don't feel like I gave Duskers enough time when I played it them for the defense thing. Interesting. Now we are back outside. All right, we didn't come across that spider cavern. So that's interesting, but it looks like we're now finally going to be able to make our way over to this west side. what 
things we have to tackle over here. West Garden. I'm going to lie, a save point would be rather nice at this point. Over there, that's quite a way away though, isn't it? It's not particularly close. So I was hoping there was one here. Here lies the hero. So we can increase our stats a little bit. Oh, it's a good thing. Hey, hey. Welcome back. So we've made it to the, the garden, Deathwish. Did you ring the bell? No. <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, we're not even on the map anymore, so... Uh... You're out of this world. Yeah. Yeah, I got a new game where VR. Okay. Seems interesting. Uh, every, I mean, it's like, uh, it's got a five star rating. Even with the ones that didn't rate it five stars, but obviously. It went goes from five stars down very quickly to you know very few, but uh, it's a uh, what's it called? It's a it's a uh, puzzle game. Uh, one that uh, you play sitting down. And you do whatever. It's, uh, I think it's like a, uh, like a escape. Uh, yep. Uh, escape type thing, escape the room kind of game. But uh, yeah, it seems interesting because it's just from uh, looking at it, reading the reviews. And I got, uh, I mean, the majority of reviews say you know. The normal price is which is like twenty five bucks, twenty four ninety nine. It's like totally worth it. But I got it for sixteen. And playtime is supposed to be uh, based on you know how some of the some some people do the, those full reviews. Yeah, yeah. They rate where they rate the music, the graphics, and yada yada yada. They put five to fifteen to fifty hours, uh, fifty to ninety hours if you're achievement hunter. So it's not a short game, and it's not an easy game. And graphics are good, music's good. So yeah, kind of looking forward to playing that one. I've, uh, I need to get back. I mean, I've still not even finished the freaking room, man. I just uh, don't like. I, I actually, I've actually finished the room. Um, that's just that's just my thing. So I really enjoyed it, uh, especially uh, the you know VR uh, scene we're talking about. Uh, once I got into it, I thoroughly enjoyed it and went all the way through it. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I just don't pick it up too often, to be fair. What, VR in general? or Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. 
I have to be in the mood and ready to to play. But when I am, uh, I tend to play the crap out of it. I totally enjoy it and ask myself why I don't play it more often. It's, it's just so much more immersive. Like, as much fun as I have with Moss, I don't know if I ever finished that game. Uh, it was an it's an absolutely fantastic game. I think. Uh, especially, if, especially when you're in VR as opposed to watching it on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's just... The, the controls are great, the graphics are great, the gameplay is great. Would, would turn me off and maybe not play again since. Uh, so far, anyway. Is the, this one boss fight. Uh, which I, I've literally spent hitting the thing for... Uh, went through multiple stages of this thing. Wow! And and playing playing that stage for hours. The one stage, and uh, like I would die, and I play, and, and like I would get far enough to where it would take me twenty minutes in fighting. Ten, ten. Well, I'd say ten minutes, fifteen minutes. I don't know how long I last before I died, and then it's like couldn't tell it, it was like he wasn't really getting damaged it, it, it just felt like that you, you felt like you weren't other than it changing places uh, and then you're uh, doing you're having a fight from different angles and other enemies come out as well that's how I, how I knew I was progressing but it's like how much do I have to go through it was just it, it, it was so tedious yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like the furthest I got was way too much. Uh, the way the game is built, it's a puzzle game, and it's a puzzle game that has some fighting. Uh, but up until that point, the fighting was easily taken care of, and you used the characters as you know uh, play pieces. Yeah, you know, kind of like panning cubes or whatever you want to for buttons or this or that or the other. That that was all fine and dandy. That made sense and it was kind of a cool thing. Have a little bit of have a little bit of fighting, you know, that kind of stuff. And yeah, once you figure out how they work, they were no problem. Which which literally doesn't take but like one time fighting them pretty much and then you're like oh, okay uh, but yeah that absolutely lost me where I, and i googled it and the only thing i could find was everybody else, the same thing is it possible to beat this stupid boss essentially and and there's a, uh, only a handful of people who say, yeah, I beat it. You just have to keep going. It's just, you just have to keep going. And, and apparently before they did an update, it didn't even register that you hit it. Like it didn't, like it didn't flash or do anything. It's, uh, and even though it did do that, when I hit it, uh, still didn't feel like I was doing any damage. There's no damage bar. So, I have no idea how far away I am. Which is really infuriating. Yeah. Especially for a uh, manly I mean, a puzzle game. I mean, it literally for hours and hours it's a puzzle game with a little bit of fighting. But then you get to that point and it's like, what the you know yeah, it, it almost comes to a point where it's like that freaking, uh, what was the, um, I, don't, I think that you know exactly what I'm going to say. It was that hidden object game. 
and it was the ghost, it was about ghosts or whatever it was. And there was just those absolutely stupid fight sequences in that game. Yeah. Which, as well, were like completely optional anyway. You didn't actually have to do them. You could skip them once you'd like been through it once. You could skip them. But, I mean, it was like you gotta have like knee jerk reactions to be able to hit a direction. It's just like absolutely stupid. Yeah. It kind of just ruins the whole. Uh, the whole like, game because it's not what the game's about at all. Right. Yeah, and that's exactly to... with like Moss. If you if you watch with uh you know what I what I put on YouTube, I mean you could tell it's mainly uh like ninety ninety five percent puzzle game. But then that one area is a hundred percent battle yeah and it's like no and there's no puzzle to it like none it's just a, a battle that lasts and lasts and lasts and you think what how how am i supposed to kill this dude yeah uh, want, i mean it doesn't um... doesn't i mean if there was a progress bar of of health on the dude I mean, yeah. at, at least that just, would just like some go, sort of okay. In, some sort uh, of indication as to how. Yeah, how like I, I'm almost there. Of. I just have to go a little bit further. Okay, I'll try again. But yeah, it's like the only thing, the only feedback on the internet was, you just have to keep hitting it, and and it doesn't matter. Apparently, it doesn't matter whether you use your or you use. Uh, your power your power up shots uh they they don't like the ones that do more damage to enemies throughout the whole freaking game don't do any extra damage to it it doesn't matter what you use it's all the same supposedly i mean i don't know if that's true or not but I, as far as i can tell it seems like it i mean yeah, it's, it, it's, it really pisses me off because I really want to finish that game, but I don't want to play play through that. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Totally understandable. Uh, Mika, I think you mean um, glasses, not glasses, just to correct you there. Um, but I can kind of, I know what you mean. Uh, a lot of people, I think, find wearing VR stuff very uncomfortable. So I don't think you're on your own there um, with that one. Uh, yeah, it depends on your headset. It depends on, like, my Quest 2 uh, is absolute garbage. Uh, it just has straps by default. Yeah. E even though I got the higher memory one. Uh, and it's real heavy on the front of your face. So, first thing I bought was, which should just come like that with it, it's plastic and then it has it just has a velcro strap on top and then it has a twist on the back to tighten it up and it, it feels much more and it, it, it has padding and put it on and and twist it to tighten it up and it's so much more comfortable and it balances out and then you also have stuff you can get with you i have a power battery pack right okay uh that i use and i i made it myself you can buy them where it has built in but i just i just have my own i mean it'll charge up a laptop but it's, it's small enough in the weight uh I, I can attach it on the back and and just, and then plug my headset into that with the short USB C connection, uh, and that you know it just keeps the charge longer. Yeah, you know, it, it still runs out because it's using more energy. Uh, it, it, it's putting out but it can play way longer, and it also balances out the the headset from the front and back. 
yeah. much more, much, much more comfortable. How the hell am I still up? I don't know, but you've been kicking some ass. These crocodiles are just like relentless. I'm just literally like hanging on with my last sort of freaking. Yeah. My last breath. You had no nothing. Left. Nothing. Yeah, your health bar is like non existent. Well, uh, GG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would have died point. there. That sorts everything out apart from respawns the freaking enemies again. Nice. Yeah, I definitely, totally would have died. I think my issue sometimes with the VR stuff as well is like, I've never really had a problem with it before, but some of the games like genuinely just make me feel quite ocean sick as well. I've never like suffered from it ever before, but for some reason, VR does that to me. Yeah, it's some, common, some, but, some if, but if you use it enough, you will actually get used to it if you use it enough. Uh, I'd say I'd say most people, uh, if, you, if you don't tend to get motion, get to get any motion sickness, like on say uh, on a boat or whatever, most people will, will get used to it with repetition. Kind of like flying. I don't know if you've ever flown drones, but if you do the uh, FPV drones where you wear the goggles and uh, you're, see, you're seeing what the camera sees, that can make you, because your your body and your inner ear is not experiencing what your eyes are seeing. Yeah. And, that, and that's the, that's how people get motion sickness. But that's why I don't, I don't get motion sickness uh, like, other people do with uh, like on a boat or whatever because to me I'm seeing it I'm feeling it but to, to those people that have that they, their, their brains aren't making sense of it quick enough of the motions even though they are feeling the sloshing back and forth up and down kind of motion but yeah, the only one, like I said, uh, that actually I, I started to feel a little nauseous on for a, a second was uh, uh, doing, uh, what is it, uh, the racing game I was playing in VR. Oh, I'll try dirt. to. Did you get dirt ready working? Uh, can't, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know. I've got quite a few racing games. BMG, uh, you know, BMG or whatever it's called. Beam or whatever. Yeah, I know uh, which one you mean. But but the one that has go karts. Uh, and yeah, it's like okay, let me try this out. I will race the go karts, and I like the view. Was, oh, yeah. oh, that was I loved it. But man, like immediately. As soon as it was like beep, 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 go. As soon as I took my first turn, woo! It made my head spin. And I was like, dang. Whoa. I mean, and, and, and I kept Whoa. playing it. Ouch. Ouch. Somebody say boss fight? Yeah. <laughs> Are we at a nightclub? Yeah, I know Mika, right? <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to learn that dude's moves. Uh oh, we got a new thing there as well. Uh yeah, I think I need um it said so something about the attack power for for that I think as well. Um you yeah, definitely need to boost like, your attack power up. Try to be this strong look. So we need to be at attack three. So we need to make. I was another... gonna say I can be only at two. That's one of the first well, things I would have yeah, upgraded myself. I've only just picked up another uh, one of these tooth things. 
so I've not been able to. Yeah, okay, it. I see now. You have to have certain. Yeah, things. yeah. You you can't okay. just upgrade it. You have to actually have it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mika got jump scared at the loud music. <laughs> But as I say, I, I, by the time I finish that race, uh, and then I watch my replay of it, it was only slightly there. I got, I, I was okay with it. It didn't bother me anymore. So I think as long as you, if you, if you're, you get a little nauseous feeling or dizzy or whatever, uh, keep playing it. And you'll get used to it. Yeah. But yeah, that's the only time I've ever had that. Like I played all the all the other popular ones, you know, whether it's whatever, Beat Saber, the Richies. Uh, you know. Walk out on the ledge and fly around and none whatsoever. The roller coaster game the roller coaster one which the, is a lot the of epic, fun epic roller coaster whatever it is yeah uh that's a lot of fun i love doing that and none of them have made me the least bit nauseous until i played that racing game and that was like wow i i don't i think because maybe I mean, I'm I'm using my feet on the pedals, on the actual pedals, my hands, getting feedback from the steering wheel. Yeah. And all that. And I'm seeing things as I look around and steering, but my body is not feeling G-forces. So I think that's why that game in particular did that to me. Like I have all, all these inputs, but... I like the main input of of having my body being me from side to side from taking turns and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was I was tempted to get like the new Formula One game for that very reason though, because like the VR. Um, but I, I don't know. Given that like the way some of the things I've, I've like. I've got on with some of the other things. I don't know if it's uh, something I should do or not. Hey, we got something magic. Got say if you magic if you do play something else in VR that you know makes you nauseous or dizzy or whatever feeling, motion sickness, uh, and try to fight through it and see if it gets less and less for you as you play it. If so, then yeah, go for it. But yeah, if if, it, if you play it over and over, take a break, like you play it for a couple of minutes, and yeah. take it take it off, play it for another couple of minutes. If it doesn't get easier after you know so many times, then yeah, you just might be one of those that can't do it yeah the, i think the, the worst the worst game i've played for like that was um but if you've tried it there's the international space station simulator or i think it is oh yeah i, I just played that uh like two or three days ago yeah that literally made me feel so sick really yeah so like that that didn't bother me whatsoever it's funny, that, that's weird how like certain things affect certain people, because like, that didn't bother me at all, but like, see, like maybe if you play the driving game, it might not bother you, but for whatever reason, it, it threw me off. I mean, that's the only game that threw me off, but yeah, I did the, I, the ISS simulator thing and flying outside, inside, doing all the different stuff, and uh, it's like, that's cool. Not, not the least amount. It felt natural, you know. For me, I think it was the whole sort of the fact the that right, you kind of like right side up kind of thing. You're grabbing onto things and you're moving through. Um, 
but the different things. I just think it's a, it's that common thing. I think with a lot of VR stuff that you, you feel like you're moving, but you're not moving, and your body just kind of gets completely yes. um, disorientated with what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, it just didn't, for, for whatever reason, I didn't have a problem with that one. And not even in the slightest bit, which is, which is typical of what I hear, like some people have problems with certain games, but not others, and then you can have somebody else that has problems with the games they don't, vice versa. Man, this boss. Something else. He's he's a boss, all right. That's glad is. Girl Chow and that's glad is. After she escaped to the outside. Oh. Almost halfway there. Halfway there now. Oh, you're almost done. Oh, well. Ow. A little more dodge and carries. Yeah, that was. Oh, that wasn't. Ooh. 